copyright claims be damned because I'm reviewing House of the Dragon episode three trailer and we're going to actually watch and listen. Sorry, YouTube. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sporky News Podcast. My name is Scott. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, the channel is growing and I really thank you all for the support. But 30% of you usually don't subscribe. So take a chance. You don't have to ding the bell. I don't care about that. At least watch me every once in a while. We do a lot of streaming here. Anyways, so I have watched the trailer. We uh, actually reviewed it on a three hour House of the Dragon. Um, we do a stream by the crossroads Monday night show after the episode show type deal. It'll be up over here somewhere, but you might not be able to watch it because the trailer gave me a copyright claim. But still, I want to review it because we kind of it was the end of a three hour tour. And uh, I don't know if I gave it my all and I really didn't pay attention. So we're going to take a look at it right now and uh, see, see what we like about it. See what we might be missing. I don't know. Uh, please comment below with what you think is going to happen, where we're going with this story. A lot of you probably are book fans, but if you're not, where do you think it'll go? Um, but spoilers abound, my friends. Spoilers abound. So let's check it out. The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. And okay, I'm going to start right now. I can't even tell whose voice that is. Let's try that one more time. The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. Aegon will be king. Oh, Otto, if I waited a second longer. He's the firstborn son of the king. Wow. So we jumped ahead. I mean, this kid, that kid has to be at least two, right? I'm saying he's at least two. We have a queen, uh, all her, you know, you know, nursemaid, maybe a milkmaid. You don't even know. Cause they used to do that in at least the game of Thrones show. Um, he looks very happy, a little older wearing gloves, probably hiding a missing digit or two. <laughs> You will be with your own child sooner than late. I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. None of it needs be this way in truth. No one's here for me. Princess! Okay, so let's go back just a little bit real quick. Uh, where was it? We got Aegon. I want to say, did they show him pouring a cup? Okay, is he pouring the kid wine? Like, what is going on? But Aegon, I mean, or Aegon, I'm sorry. Aegon's the child. Viserys, um, in this time in the story, is heavily drinking. Um, that's why the cupbearer is probably the most important person to him. And that's why he had his daughter there to not just be the cupbearer, give him his booze, but to listen and learn how to rule, even though he was the appease them today to put it off till tomorrow, which is really the cause of the dance of the dragons. A lot of people says it was Jaehaerys decision to pass over, uh, Rainey's, but I believe it was the series never really wanting to make a decision. Uh, he was just wanting to be liked. You will be with your own child sooner than late. I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. None of it needs be this way in truth. No one's here for me. Okay. Alicent, Alicent, I mean, she, I got to give her credit. She played the game really well. I feel she was forced into it by her father. We all know that. But if you watch one thing about this show, I really appreciate are the close up facial, um, moments where they're, they show their reactions because these actors are doing amazing job. Last episode, Renera, uh, Renera, when she, you know, looking at her dad and finding out, wait a minute, he's talking about Alicent getting married to her. Why didn't he tell me about this? And the devastation in her face and Allison, um, you know, looking guilty. Well, it looks like she's now coming into her own where she's like, look, it doesn't have to be this way. You know, I'm the queen now, bit. I didn't finish that word. YouTube. Don't block me. Princess! The crab leader has dug in for siege on bloodstone while his men sabotage our fleet. The matter of the stepstones is regrettably, Urgent. Okay, so before we get anywhere with it, um, and where I stopped it there, is that the, 
who is that he he has that up against? Is that the crab guy? I don't know. But if you look at what's going on, Damon and uh, Corlys decided we're going to do this war. We haven't heard. Now, this must be two years later into this war. So I wonder what Viserys is going to react, how he's handling it. I mean, as the king, if he shows people that they did this without his okay, he'll look weak. So does he go along with it or does he, you know, punish them once it's done? You'll know and you'll see. Um, One thing I can say is, and it'll come up in a minute, like, I think Damon wanted to win without using the dragons and show his prowess as a general, as a fighter, as a warrior. And really, you got the nuke, bro. Drop it. Yeah! Crabs will soon dine on all of us. We are losing. Dragon! So Damon just got hit with an arrow. Um, They are losing in the Stepstones, which you would think, you know, they are backed by uh, the three sisters, um, the free city. Um, I think it's like Pentos, Volantis. Uh, I don't know if Bravos is involved. I'm sorry. I'm blanking at the moment, but he is backed by them. He's emboldened by them. He is, he is a vicious guy, but you would think with dragons, this would have been done. And is it Viserys punishing them by not helping them along? We have 20 something dragons, not all mature, but you have enough riders where you probably could have leveled everyone. I mean, you could turn these islands to ash. And- okay. So, uh, what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to this episode? Are you enjoying the show? I have to say I'm enjoying it more than I thought I was going to enjoy. And I think it's, it's the actors. They all bought into this. Um, Everybody loves Matt Smith. I actually, he plays it too childlike. I don't know how, if that, if you understand what I mean, um, Damon is a badass and he plays it like a pretentious child, which I guess if you read the books, you could take it that way. Um, but I am enjoying the story. It is not heavy handed. The story is about a world where men pass on their lineage want to pass it on to their male son. That is what the patriarchy is. Uh, They haven't been so heavy handed in the, what we say is quote unquote woke uh, Hollywood. It could change and it could get that way. And I would be sad, but George has always attacked these topics with the idea of an historical view on it and being honest about those historical views, the things that happened to, um, you know, Sansa's friend in the book, uh, wow. Yeah. Um, horrible. You know, this isn't a time for women. Even if you are in the most powerful house and you are the princess or the queen, there are still men that will never see you as their equal. So what will happen when two women bring out the worst in each other and pretty much bring out the downfall of the Targaryens? We are supposed to be getting a unbiased perspective of this story in the books. We have one of the maesters, we have mushroom. So who, you know, mushrooms very, you know, it's all about sex. The maesters leaning, you know, on one side, uh, this is supposed to be what I've heard reported non-biased. So is this the actual truth of it? Which I don't know if I want to know. I kind of like guessing and picking through the books and seeing, wait a minute, he's writing this for a Targaryen, the Mad King. He's going to make the victor who is his, you know, um, his ancestors look good compared to like the other part of the family that lost. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Thank you for checking it out. Please again, subscribe, help small channels grow. It's the only way we will. If you guys subscribe, like comment, share, we don't have to agree. We just have to be cool to one another. So take care, everybody. See you Monday nights for a stream by the crossroads where we talk the after show and see what I got wrong. Peace.